shit. Here we go again. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tankas Club. I think you got an idea what I'm trying to do in this video or what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something stupid again. Wargaming just released uh, today a brand new tank, the Object 777. A tier 10 collector Russian heavy tank. And this tank seems to be so broke. If we take a look at the stats, uh, 260 millimeter on the turret um yeah 240 millimeter on hull we got here nine seconds reload time this tank right now don't have maybe the consumables and stuff so maybe we can reach something about 2.9 to 3k tpm for a tier 10 collector tank that's really insane we got also here six uh degrees of gun depression so seems like we are going able to do the job with this gun um the penetration is also insane high alpha damage so uh this tank seems to be yeah the game changer now um but it's so expensive and i'm gonna give it a try this video as always until getting this tank so i hope that um me and my wallet are not going to cry after doing this video because yeah it's so expensive but i know that you all of you guys love those videos and um, to show you some openings also for some of you trying to get this tank to have an idea about the chance to get the tank from opening crates so we got here a drop drop chance of five percent so not that bad so whatever enough thunk kick let's just give it a try and see what is going to happen let's go oh this is going to hurt a lot so i'm thinking about which is the best offer to go for so um i think i'm going to go firstly for the three crates and then if i will be unlucky i will go for more or should i go directly straight for five crates I'm gonna go first for three crates. Who knows? Maybe I will be lucky and I will get it directly straight from um, the first three crates. Who knows? Who knows? Keep dreaming. <laughs> okay, let's go. But maybe I will get 100k gold. And those crates, we got a chance to get 100k gold. So it happened already to me once. Who knows? Who knows? And 1k gold. Okay. Okay, not bad. This second crate tank, no tank. Okay, let's keep going. The third crate and 750 gold. Shit. Oh man, oh man, oh man. So let's give it now. Yeah, another try and buy. Hmm. I'm thinking about going for 12 crates or for another 5 crates. It's really a very hard decision. But I think I will be going for... Oh, that's, that's, that's really so hard to decide. I will be going for another five crates. Okay, let's go. But maybe I will get 100k gold. And those crates, we got a chance to get 100k gold. So, it happened already to me once. Who knows? Who knows? And 1k gold. Okay. Okay, not bad. This second crate tank, no tank. Okay, let's keep going. The third crate and 750 gold. Shit. Oh man, oh man, oh man. So let's give it now. Yeah, another try and buy. Hmm. I'm thinking about going for 12 crates or for another 5 crates. It's really a very hard decision. But I think I will be going for... Oh, that's, that's, that's really so hard to decide. I will be going for another five crates. So here we go. Of course, I will be opening as always uh, in this video as my oh 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 yes, woo! 
Nice! Here we go again. Cool. Okay, so after opening four crates, four crates, guys. This is so insane. Of course, what I wanted to say is after opening, after getting the thing, I will just play the first battle here. Uh, directly after the opening the first battle with you freestyle with this tank oh man this is so nice after four crates that's just insane now give me the legendary camouflage and we are good 1.5k gold so till now we got something about 3k gold from this opening and yeah only two crates left come on give me 10k gold maybe 100k gold another time the tank maybe <laughs> are you kidding me this is so lucky so i'm going to get compensation 7.5k of gold in this opening already only from the compensation plus the gold that i had wow this is one of the luckiest opening that i had so straight directly after opening how much i don't know three five eight crates i'm having something about 11k gold plus the tank that's just crazy man and <laughs> Are you kidding me? What the heck is happening? Go for the crates. Eight crates, three times the tank. 15k gold. What the heck is happening? What the heck is happening? This is so crazy. Wow, I never got such a lucky opening. So actually I can open another five crates, but this is going to be so dope. I'm not going to do it, but I want actually to have the camouflage. I don't know I got it or not. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. This is so crazy. Look at this. I started with 2k gold. After this opening I have right now 20.5 gold. So the tank plus 18k gold. That was definitely worth it this time. Wow. I'm going crazy. Wow. Okay. So where is the tank? Let's have a look if I got um, the uh, camouflage or not. I forgot it. So maybe I should open again some crates. I uh, know this one, this one. Did I did I got the legendary camo? No, I didn't got it. So the question is, I was so lucky in this opening. The question is, should I open another five crates for 15k gold and maybe I will receive more gold and finally the legendary camo? I don't know. It's gonna be actually. Or should I better just buy the legendary camouflage and that's it? I think it's the better option. Just wait, I will play a battle. And uh, of course, the legendary camouflage will be then, after playing a battle with this tank, uh, suggested to buy. Or maybe I can buy it right now. This is so crazy, man. Stay tuned, guys. As I told you, I will now play uh, my first battle with this tank. And of course, a full review about this vehicle will come soon. So till now, I don't see the legendary camouflage of this tank here in the store. Um, nope, it's not there. Or is, is it this one? No, this is not for, this is for the object 274A. Okay, so I will wait, I will play a battle and I think after playing a battle, the legendary camouflage will appear in the store or I will get an offer to buy it. So. Let's play my first battle with this tank. Let's get first the equipment and we're jumping already to 2.9k of TPM. That's really so insane. Let's go for more armor, better gun dispersion, this high-end consumables. Do we have any special consumables here? No, we don't have. Um, Yeah. Oh man, I'm so excited. That was such a lucky opening this time. And with all those um, consumables, we will reach 3.1k of TPM. That's really so insane for this tank. For a tier 10 heavy tank. Um, yeah, the legendary camo looks so dope. I hope that after the first battle I will get it. I will buy it straight. So for that, I will go just now for just a boring camouflage, not, not a legendary one or not just anyone any any boring camo because i will anyway get the legendary camouflage after this battle okay so far so good penetration is uh, also insane i think oh yes look at this guys 374 with premium shells and without premium shells we will have also an insane penetration 
340 so that's actually enough i don't know i don't need to go for calibrated shells and now let's play the first battle with the object 777.2 let's try it out freestyle let's go oh man this is so crazy three tanks in eight crates wow how lucky one can be i don't know but this time i think there was really the luckiest opening that I ever had that's what's crazy man out of from eight crates three times the tanks and a lot of amount of gold wow come on let me play a battle Maybe I should try a rating battle uh, and they will let me in faster. Here we go, Black Goldville. So I'm the only one playing with this tank right now in this battle. I don't think that there is a lot of players who got it and they was lucky like me. I'm not going to use a credit booster to see the credit coefficient of this tank in the end of this battle. And yeah, let's go. So, I don't know, let's see first which way my team is going. So, okay, so I'm not going to go alone with the 11 OE5 heavy side because most of my teammates are going medium side. 8.3 seconds bullet time. Mobility is also not bad. Oh, they are all heavy side. Careful, guys, heavy side. And uh, yeah. It's an insane um, heavy tank with an insane turret as we saw, so it should be played hull down, but we got also a strong hull. I think that medium tanks will also struggle a lot to penetrate my hull. So I didn't check yet um, this tank. With the armor inspector, I really don't know where are exactly the weak spots are. Uh, of this tank the, uh, on the armor so I will be playing somehow YOLO this time for the first battle and hope that we are going to perform a good battle without knowing the weak spots on my armor but I will try if possible of course to go hull down positions so I think that they are all um, heavy side here we go first shot bounced that's the Progetto 65 who missed his first shot I got him once, 368 of damage, and with adrenaline we got here, 7 seconds roll of time, that's really so fast for a heavy tank, and the VK is waiting right there. So as we saw he was aiming on me, then turned around, so that means that he wasn't able even to pen me from this angle, that's really insane, so let's try to penetrate the Yacht Panzer, nope. very hard to aim on it to aim on his weak spots with this gun dispersion I have to get closer to him or aim on another enemy here we go the VK again boom now the Progetto got me but the VK is still not able to pen me now I'm taking a lot of shots from uh, everywhere I have anyway a bad gun dispersion and now my my shooter is injured I think or we have some aiming problem problems because I think my uh, shooter is is dead or is injured or whatever so let's try to uh, slap again that Progetto 65 I mean there is no need to risk a lot right now we are leading my team is camping um, yeah, whatever. I will wait here. I will not risk it if my whole team is camping. Why should I be the one to die? <coughs> oh, nope. Let's try to get that VK. Maybe now and... Oh, come on. So stupid I missed my shot. 
Okay, the projector is waiting for me there. I will try to side scrape somehow and Nope, come on, come on Come on poke Nope, 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 let's try it again Where is he going? I don't know No chance to get that projector, but maybe now the VK no now he's going to poke and Oof. But the Act Panzer got me once, so I... Oh, nice, nice. We we got the VK, the FV did it. And I will not stay there and uh, let the Act Panzer E-100 finish me. I have to relocate. Let's go this way. So mobility is also insane, so we can reach up to 36 km per hour on flat ground. That's really not bad at all for a heavy tank. And I will try now to sneak some shots on that AMX-50 if possible. Nope, it's not possible from here right now. But maybe the Yo, also not possible. Let's wait here. I will try to get that Yo if he is going to poke. And nope. I'm not spotted yet. That's That's good. Can I get the Yo somehow? Come on. No, I can't get him. I will wait for him here. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. Come on, guys. Let's win this. Four versus four. Are we going to lose this? I don't know, let's see. Amorak? No Amorak. But nearly a 400 slap. 400 hit points slap. And I'm sure that the AMX 50B will uh, try to get me now because he's full HP. And I'm playing with a bunch of TDs. This is not good. So they will all camp and I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. So the armor is really working great. I like it. I blocked a lot of damage, but we got really to be honest in this battle. It's just a bad team. I tried my best, but they are all camping there. No chance to penetrate the, the armor of that badger. <clears throat> Come on, Yacht Panzer, help me. Help me, Act Panzer. Come on, let's sneak another shot. The AMX 50B is coming. I'm the last survivor for this battle, and I will die soon. But um, that doesn't mean that this tank is really bad. It's really good. Um, we dealt a good battle, actually, for me. I dealt my damage. I blocked especially a lot of damage, so the armor is really great. So my first impression about this tank I like it. 2k damage, 1.5k of damage blocked. Sadly, we didn't have the best team in this battle. So let's have a look. So even I did only 2k damage, I was the third best player of my team. And we can see the difference. The enemy team, they got the Yacht Panzer who did alone nearly 6k of damage. Um, yeah, so they got just better players. Even with 46% win rate, that doesn't mean that you cannot perform good battles. So, here we go. The, oh, shit. The Impulse Camouflage costs 6k gold. Well, I'm gonna... I'm going to buy it anyway. I got, anyway, a very lucky opening and uh, I will install it. Who cares? I'm, I'm a rich gold guy right now, so I don't care. Let's get it. Thanks Wargaming for this insane opening. I got I got much worse opening, so uh, it's also good feeling to have from time to time a good opening and to win some gold and in eight crates win the tank three times. That's insane. You know what, guys? Because I mean, come on. Um, I want to try out this new legendary camouflage, and we lost the the first battle, so. Let's try out now again this legendary camo. Let's uh, try out again this thing and hope that we are going to win this battle. Let's go. 
the object 777 imports. Nice. Oh, I forgot to see how much credits we want, so let's do it in this battle. So, in this map, we got an insane hull down position for hull down tanks, and I will go with my mediums. I mean, we have good mobility, so why not to go with my meds? So, let's do it. STB1 is pushing, the T22 medium is right there. Can I slap him? No, I can't. Let's see. The Sheridan is there, the STB1 is there. So we need to get closer definitely with this tank because we really don't have the best gun dispersion. And we can, I think, I hope, rely on our armor. And that will allow us to play more aggressive, especially against. Um, Mets. So let's see, I missed my shot. So that's what I was expecting to block a lot of damage against Mets. <clears throat> and it's happening, and it's happening. We can really rely on our frontal armor if, of course, we are showing our frontal armor, not like this, showing the side. And we can block a lot of damage. It's really a strong, strong uh, frontal armor we got here on this vehicle. And uh, yeah, that will allow us to play way aggressive. Look at these guys, how much damage blocked from meds and lights. So they just can't penetrate us. Oh no, I'm so stupid. I missed that shot on that T-100 lightweight. Let's go out again and try to get him. Look how much damage I'm blocking. This is crazy. This is just crazy. Goodbye. So, this tank seems to be really so OP, man. I really like it. I just like it. Here we go. Hello, E100. Come on. I will try to face hug him. Don't shoot on my side. No, I can't pan him like this. Let's take premium shells and here we go. Look at this. This is crazy. This is just crazy. 3.3k of damage blocked. And um, <clears throat> even without knowing... The armor profile of this tank, I just faced hug the E100, I got a low armor profile, and that uh, make it just impossible for the E100 to penetrate me. That's just insane, and um, I'm really seeking for more battles with this tank. It's a lot of fun, definitely. I can feel the strength of the frontal armor of this tank, this is just insane. I'm going just medium side, no one can pen me. I'm I'm pushing on a he hundred face hacker game, he can't pen me. I mean to block in just a short time, 3.3k of damage. Um, that's really showcasing us already the strength of this tank and it's the armor. In addition to that, we got a high TPM. So uh, this tank will be so OP, definitely. Oh no, no ace. Okay, so... 2.1k of damage and already first class mastery badge. So that means uh, there is really not a lot of players uh, who got this tank already. So we need to hurry up and ace it <laughs> before more players get it. So 45k for only 2k of damage with a tier 10. We can deal much more damage with this tank. So this tank is really an insane credit maker too. And um, yeah, looks dope. It's OP. We saw it in the last two battles how strong it is. Especially the armor guys and the high TPM. Okay, we got a fast reload time, but we have not the best gun dispersion. But uh, that means we have to get closer to the enemy. It's not good for long distance shots, but we can get close to the enemy, especially to the meds. And we can face hug the, the heavies as we saw here. And uh, then use the strength of this tank, which is the armor. Um, yeah, to... Let's say... Um, how to say, how to say, I'm, I'm just missing to, to, to compensate the, the weakness of the gun and um, to, if you get close to the enemy, then we can, you have no precision problems and we can push with this tank. That's no problem as we saw in the last two battles. So an insane tank. I'm really excited. My first impressions, I'm really surprised firstly of the op about the opening and I'm surprised about this tank 
they, it's really very strong and maybe OP if we know how to play with it. Um, I will keep playing with it the next days, maybe I will go later live some uh, big boss mode battles with it or also some regular battles with it, I don't know yet. But I will try to go live today for only for big boss mode. I will keep playing with this tank. Um, near, I will try to get again 100 battles and then do a review as always because if you want to review a tank, you, uh, I don't understand, I don't get it how other YouTubers just straight after the tank is released, they do a full review guide, whatever. I mean, how you can do a review if you played with the tank only three, three or two battles, you cannot uh, name the video a review. It's not a review. A review is somebody who played with the tank at least 100 battles or maybe more. Then you know the tank, you master the play style, you know the weaknesses of this tank and you can also show your win rate after playing 100 battles or more and then we can kill the review. So I, I really don't get it, I don't wanna call names, I don't get it how some other YouTubers just post straight after 5 minutes or I don't know, it's, I'm exaggerating, but after I don't know, uh, 30 minutes the tank is released, full review, here is the tank, here how to play with it, it's not possible, you have to play more. It's my initial opinion, I don't know, tell me in the comment section down below there what do you think about, uh, I don't know, people doing reviews of tanks, especially new tanks, only by playing with them 5 battles. For me that doesn't make sense, um, doing a review uh, needs uh, more experience with this tank, needs playing a lot of battles and uh, to show your win rate exactly you need at least to play 100 battles so we can say okay I played 100 battles and um, I want 70, okay, I got 70% win rate, that's insane, uh, but uh, yeah, whatever, it's another theme, I'm not going to go deeper in this, uh, in this subject, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video guys, the opening and uh, the first two battles with the brand new tier 10 collector soviet heavy tank, the optic 7772 or version 2 with this uh, legendary camouflage right here which looks so dope this tank will be called the object 777 impulse on the battlefield see you soon in the next one guys i hope you enjoy it if yes don't forget to smash the like button as hard as you can subscribe to the channel if you are new watching my content and stay tuned for the next video guys bye bye <laughs>